Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be changing some honey block sounds right here. Here's some honey blocks I have set down kind of like a road, and these make a certain sound when you walk on them. And let's walk down this thing. You hear it kind of makes a gloopy kind of a wet sound. So I think we can fix that and get a better sound here for these honey blocks. Now there are basically three different sounds that honey blocks make, three different groups of sounds, and then there are five variations on each one. There's a breaking sound, which is the same thing as a placing sound. So if I take a block over here and I place it and then break it, it's from the same set of sounds. There's a sliding sound. If there's a big wall and you slide down, that's that set of sounds, and then these stepping sounds. And we'll change the stepping sounds. Now to do this, we'll switch over to the desktop. We'll make the sounds first, and then we'll build those into a resource pack. Here we are. I made a folder in my C drive right here. I just called it Packs. You can make a folder in any name you want. Just make yourself some place to work in. I also found a file right here. This is my sound file. We'll be using this to grab the sounds. Let me show you where I found that. I'll bring up a website. And I found it here at freesound.org. It's a great free sound website. And the one I found right here was this one, Messy Sticky Bubbles. And it has some really good sounds in here. Now you can play this just by hitting the play button. I'll put a link for this particular sound file in the description so you can come back and get this if you want to. Okay, so we have our sound file and we need to know what to call this. So let's bring up a, another window. I'm just going to bring up just a standard window. And let's do a search here. Type in percent app data percent like that. Hit the enter key. It takes you into the roaming folder right there. Go into Minecraft and then into assets and then into indexes. And right here, open up this JSON file. Currently I'm in 1.17, so I have the 1.17 JSON file here. I have mine opening up in Notepad++. It's a free program and it's a great one for doing this kind of work. So let's just double click on this. And this has all of the names of all the sound files plus the language files in here for Minecraft. And it also gives you the path for that. So let's do a fast search in here. Let me get this out of the way. And we'll search for honey like that. And we'll see if we can find that. There we go. There's the honey block right down there. Let's just get that closed. And right here are the honey block sounds. And we have right down here is our step sounds. There's the slide sounds. And there's the break sounds. Now all I care about is the folder structure for the step sound. So I'll grab just this first one right here like that. And that's what we need. So it's going to be called step1.ogg. It's an OGG file. And there's the folder structure. It's in Minecraft Sounds block and Honey block. Let's build that real fast here for our resource pack and get rid of this folder. And we have our working folder right here. Let's make a new folder called Assets like that. And then I'm going to just copy this, go into Assets, new folder. First one is Minecraft. There we go. Go into Minecraft, new folder Sounds. There it is, into Sounds, new folder block like that, into block, new folder, honey block. There we go. And inside of this folder is where our sounds are gonna be going. Now we need to make five of these. We have step one through step five. So I'll make five sounds and we'll put them inside of there. Okay, let's go back to our packs folder and we can get rid of this. We're now set to go. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to edit this down and find five stepping sounds out of this longer sound file. And for that, I'll be doing the editing in Audacity. Again, this is a free program, and I'll put a download link for that in the description. Let me bring that program up. There we go. There's the Audacity program. Get that out of the way. Now, the first thing you want to do is to get your sound file into Audacity. The easy way is just to drag and drop it like that. There we go. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. Now, it comes in as a stereo file. We want to have this in mono. Go up to tracks, come down to mix, and mix stereo down to mono. There it is, it's now a mono sound. Now let's find our sounds. There's a bunch of sounds in here, and to do this really easily, I'm going to zoom in just a bit here. Here's our zoom button right there. That's a bit better. There's a slider control at the bottom to go back and forth in our file. And to play a sound, just pull it like this with a selection. Make sure you're using this tool right there. At your selection tool, just pull a selection, hit the play button, and it plays just that. Let's try something a bit longer. I'm gonna try right there. I like that better, that's a pretty good sound. It's a stepping sound, a little bit wet, kind of sticky sounding. That's fine, now it's selected. So use the Control C keyboard shortcut to copy that. Then go up to File, New, makes a new file right here. Go up to Tracks, Add New, Mono Track, and then Control V, and it pastes that in. I can zoom in so you can see that better. 
Now we also wanted to have our sounds a bit louder, so I'm going to go right here to this volume control, gain control. I'm going to move this up until it's at a plus of 10 decibels right there, so it'll be a louder sound. And let's now save this one up, but first we'll test it. That's good. File, come down to export, and we're saving this to the AUG format right there. Click on that. Double check, make sure you're going into the right folder. That's your PAX folder. And I'll go right to the final location, just go inside here, and it's inside of there. And the first one is just going to be called step one. Step one, hit the save and OK. That one's now done. Okay, let's find four more sounds. Let's close this front window, close that out, and let's not save that. Okay, let's find another sound. Let's try right down here. Not too bad, but not great. That one's better. It's a little bit stickier, kind of squishy sound to it. This will be our quietest sound. We'll go ahead, we'll take that one. Same thing, Control C, and then File, New, up to Tracks, Add New, Mono Track, Control V to paste that in. I'll just zoom in so you can see that. Let's bring our gain here up to 10. There we go. And then File, Export, OGG. This will be our Step 2. Rename that. Save and OK. That's our second sound. Close that. Won't save it. Let's keep on going down, see what else we can find in here. Try a lot of that. I like that. That's kind of good. Okay, same thing. Control C. Go up to File, New, Tracks, Add New, Mono Track. Control V to paste that in. Let's just go ahead and see that bit better. Here we are. Let's adjust our gain back up to 10. That's good. File, Export, Aug. That one is our third step. Here we go. Close that one down. And let's do two more. Let's try this one right here. I like that. Control C, copy. File new. Same thing again. Tracks, add new, mono track. Control V, paste that in. Let's see that a bit better. Bring our volume up here to 10. And then file export as AUG. That's number four. So we're almost done. There we go. Close that window out. Not save it. And we need one more. Let's try this in here. I like that even better. Okay, we'll use that one as our last one. Control C, copy, file, new. There it is. Track, add new. Mono track, control V, place that in. And bring our volume up to 10. And then export as AUG. I'll rename that one to 5. And OK. Then close this down. We're now done with Audacity. We have our five new sounds in there. Let's double check that into Assets, Minecraft Sounds, Block, Honey Block, and there we go. Let's just improve our view here. Okay, now mine have these kind of cone-shaped icons. That just means that I'm using the VLC Media Player to play these sounds. If you're using a different player for your sounds, you'll see a different icon. Don't worry about the icon. Let's just open up one of these, see how it sounds. Double click on that. There's the VLC Media Player. Sounds good. Okay. That's all set to go. When I need to open up the Minecraft launcher, I'll go ahead and I'll do that. There we go. And go up here where it says installations, click on that. And here's the latest release. Now to the right of this, notice that I'm in 117 right now. To the right of this, there's a little folder icon. Click on the folder icon, and that takes you into the Minecraft folder right here. And then come down here where it says versions, open that up. And in here, we need a file which is not yet in 117. So you need to go back to an earlier version. I have 116 right here. So open this one up, 116.5. And we want that jar file right there. Okay, so we have that. And here's our working folder right here. I'm just going to right drag the jar file over here and copy. There we go. And I can now close that down. We'll come back to that in just a bit. Let's now change this to a zip file. It's easy to do. Just click in here and then type over jar so it says zip. Like that. Click yes. We can now open this thing up. Right click and open in new window. There we go. Now in this big long list, scroll way down near the bottom you want the pack meta and the pack PNG right here. You want both of these two. I'll just right drag those over here and copy. There we go. Now the pack PNG, this is just the icon that shows in your resource pack list. You can change it if you want to. It's just a square image. It's at 128 by 128. If you want more detail, just go to 256 by 256. That's all that is. Nothing special about that one. The pack MC meta, this is important. We have to have this and we need to edit this. I have mine opening up inside of Notepad++, so double click. Here we go. Now two things have changed. First, our description right up here. This is just what it's going to be saying in the list. So we know what this thing is. I'll call it Honey Block Sounds. And the pack format needs to be changed to pack format 7 if you're in Minecraft 117. 117, 117, 1 has to be format 7. Okay, that's done. Click on Save. 
that's all good to go. Okay, we're now ready to actually finish building our resource pack and put it into the game. Click on Assets, hold the Control key down, choose the Pack MC Meta, which we just edited in that Pack PNG. Go up to the Share, click on Zip, gives you a new folder here, just rename this one. I'll call mine Honey Block Sounds, and we're now ready to put this into the game. For that, let's go back up here to the launcher, back here to your latest release, click on that folder again, come down here to Resource Packs, open this up, and I'll put that right here. Let's open this window back up again. Then just take this and drag it into that folder. There we go, it's now inside the game. Okay, that's done, that's done. Go back to our latest release, click on Play right here, or go back here and click on the big Play button. There we go, there's our title screen. Come down to Options. Resource Packs, you should see your new pack left-hand side, there we go. Click on that arrow, put it on the right-hand side, that's all set to go. Choose Done. Done again. I'll do Single Player, there's my main world right here. Okay, we're back in the game, and let's see how that sounds. That's better. It's kind of stickier sounding, and it's a lot louder than it was before. Let's try it again. You can hear how it's just randomly choosing out of those five sounds. You can use the exact same technique to change any sound inside of Minecraft. Okay, and I'll see you next time.